Savaloys, welcome back to another video on the old channel. You may be wondering why I'm stood in front of the beefer. Well, today I'm going to be replacing the front uh, brake discs. Now, this car only has discs on the front, so that's alright, a bit more cheaper. So, all we've done at the minute is we've loosened the wheel nuts because if you heighten your car with your wheel jacks, the wheels will just proceed to spin. So, if you do it while on the car, you could get the Get raised up in the air, take them straight off. Okay, next part we've done, we've loosened the brake fluid reservoir. Just enough so you could just lift it off. As you can see, just leave it over the top just like that. So when we push the lines, it can free or whatever it does. Now I'll show you, we put the axle stands. It is heightened as you can see, I'll show you. So this is under the old beefer. I can get on the floor, as you can see, the axles are here, I don't know if you can see well. Yeah, so these are coming off the wheel and they obviously follow on to this big bit just here. I'll show you. Just above the axle. Hang on. Right. So this metal bit here is your axle and it obviously joins to here, which it gets bigger and it goes over your cat. And then obviously it joins onto the other half of the wheel. So that's where you want to put your axle stands just under here and there that's just so if the uh your jack stands do fail uh your car won't crush you so that's quite handy so yeah boy shall be back on the next step here we go gun acquired for the wheels we simply put it on there like that Make sure the socket's all the way on. That's your wheel round off your wheel nuts. As you can see, all wheel nuts are now off and the wheel should just come off like that. Boom. Put the wheel over to one side so it's out of the way. And here is what we're working on. The disc brakes. So yeah. We shall show you shortly the next step. We'll get the other wheel off and get this going. Right then folks, wheels are off. Now, MOT season is here. So as you can see, the old uh, discs are a bit cracked. A bit on the surfaces just there, look. Cannot have that for the MOT. Um, same for this side as well. It's along the surface edges. Not to very MOT compliant. Let's get these changed. So here we are at the disc. So you will have a little, uh, a star little socket. I've got what they're called. What this is going to be, the size is T27. And all you're going to do is place it in like that. Get it nice and tight. And try and get them out. As you can see, mine are rusty as anything. Like that. That's just come undone. Oh, I've rounded it off. As you just saw, I nearly rounded it off. So I had to get cameraman to give hand. He put his foot on the brake so I could get it nice and loose. So as you can see, it is now uh, very, very loose. So you just unscrew it a bit until you can do it by hand. Like so. And simply remove it like that. Put it to one side because you will need it again. Okay, so we're here at the caliper. All you're gonna do is try and get a tool you can wedge in between. Just here, which is your your pad. And you're gonna do wedge it in this hole. Obviously, it's, it's quite big because I've already loosened it, but it'll be really tight. You're gonna push towards the car just to get this gap. Bloody hell, my recording's horrible, sorry. Yeah, so you're gonna get that gap in there, as you can see. So if I stick that in there, that's what you're trying to achieve. Wedge it in there, and you're gonna push towards the car and you're going to create that big gap between the pad and the disc so it'll be easier to put your new pads on and you're going to come behind the caliper just get under the old beefer so you see these two holes here you've got one there one there you're going to have these rubber caps these are just protection they will be sat in there all you could do is just twist them out and remove them. Then you will need a, what size is this? 
HW7. This is a hex, and that's gonna go in there and loosen both of them up. So I'll do that now, off camera. But as you can see, it just holds in there toward the right one and simply loosen those two. Managed to get the first one out, as you can see, it's quite long. We're gonna begin with the top one, just up there. Like so. They can be quite tight, so just... There we go. Loosened it, and we'll just take it out like so. Once the bolts are out, the caliper should just pull towards. You just want to give it some welly. There we go, caliper's out. There's still some juice on them pads, but it's not worth putting the old ones back on. But yeah, that is your caliper removal. As you can see, the Alfred's paint is still staying on. Look at that, pucker. After pulling the uh, caliper off, we've got the, the two pads off. As you can see, they're quite decent. They're not very worn. Fucking hell, crawled in the ground. As you can see, they're not that warm. Warm, worn. Still a bit of juice on them. But all we've done now is just cable tied it to the suspension um, momentarily so we don't fracture the pipe. Obviously comes you know, around here. And all we're gonna do now is remove the old disc. You don't need to remove this or pull it back anymore. Good old Seat, you don't have to faff about with any of that annoying stuff. Yeah, just bring out the old brake disc. Look at that, rusty as anything, cracked to anything, not past any MOTs. But good job, we replaced them. Move them to one side. And here we go. The new ones, Brembo, the choice of champions. To crack over the old Brembo's. As you can see, instructions or legal stuff, whatever that is. And here we go. The brake disc. Look at this. From Brembo. I'll be stopping like no, no tomorrow, mate. Brembo pads as well. Look at that. Them compared to the old ones, bit dirty, but pretty much the same amount of juice in them. As you can see. Yes, we'll get them fitted. Okay, we've got the breaker tool just here. We've we've done, sorted the other side out. Well, I'm going to show you this side now, just so I can get my head around it. So, what you're going to do is start off with wedging your breaker tool in here, you're gonna wedge it in here and push it this way where my finger's going. And what, what that's gonna do is push this little bit towards the left, thus releasing the brake pad next to the brake disc, which is here. So once you pushed it far enough that way, you will then receive a hole where the brake pad is and the disc is. All you're gonna do is put your little breaker tool and just push it. And as you can see, it makes a bigger and bigger gap. The more you push, until it won't go no more. If you break anything or you know ruin the brake pad, it doesn't matter because you put a new one in. So yeah, I believe that's as far as it can go, as it won't go anymore, as you can see. And that'll make it easier to put your pads in. What we're gonna do now is remove these rubber seals here. So these just pull out, just dig your, your nail in, and as you can see, it just pulls out, kind of. You've got one there, and you've got one this side. Dig in there, pull it out. Boom. You then want your hex, which is here. You want to come under the knee for the car. If I could have the camera, cameraman. Thank you. Get underneath the car. Behind. Let me line up for you. So you got where the rubber seals were. As you can see. One there, one there. That's where you took the rubber seal off. And you can see that. So what we're gonna do is just loosen them up, same as before. And then once they're out, I'll show you. Right, as you can see, caliper bolts are out just here. And they're no longer present. So what we do now is we pull it off towards to just get a good pull. 
there you go that is caliper off all you do now is remove the uh, pads so all you do is so for this one just here closest all you do is just push this forward as much as you can like that as you can see it's moving and then you also do the top as well you know like even pressure put the phone down for now while i do that so get that out as you can see i've freed that now it's all moving let's get that out one is removed as you can see there it is that's from the front now for this all you do you get both hands one hand here and one hand on the other side just around here and you pull towards you so i'm gonna do that now sorry i can't show you i've got to put my phone down it's pulled towards you like so pull as hard as you can go to the other side like that and then out the way she goes just there like that you then want to position your caliper on the top so if you sort of put it up there for now, you're just going to move your, your disc out. As you can see, mine is actually very rusty. That's going to require some mulling. As you saw, I struggle getting that off. I can't pull it off. We've got the hammer of correction. Give it a bit of a tap. Fucking... As you can see, it is now loose and removable. Rusty as anything. Look at that. Let's get the new one on. We got the new disc rag, as you can see, and the one I nearly rounded off. We luckily we've got some new screws with it, so I'm just going to use one of them. The old one was all right. This side, as you can see, that's a new one. You want to clean your your disc brake, so it's got some carb spray cleaner that I do. You give it a bit of a wipe. So I should do that now. Get it out of the pack. Put it on top. Just spray a bit around the outside where the brake um, pads come to contact. Do a bit of wipe around the outside because they come in oil or something. These discs. Clean it around the side. Don't worry about the middle of the, the disc. A little wipe. Boom! Once you've done that, make sure your rubbish don't fly away. So before we actually get started, we put the new disc on. You want to grab one of these and give it your a little guard and stuff, a bit of TLC. Scrape for the rust. As you can see, a uh, lot of form. Obviously, your wheels are the. Oh, just look at all that dust coming off. That is brutal. All the bright dust, rust from when you've driven through puddles, all of that builds up. Just look at that, it's like thick black smoke. You should probably wear a mask when you do this, but if you're a maverick, you won't. That is the inside of the caliper brushed out. Just a tad. We're now going to apply the new brake pads. So put that up there. Apply some more multi-purpose grease. And all we're going to do is we've got two calipers. Obviously, we use the other two. So it actually says on them, piston side, as you can see, bottom left, where my thumb is, and the other one didn't say anything. So what you do, dab a bit on the back. You don't want to get any on the front, if you can help it. Just like that. Put that to one side and spread it out over the back, like, so, just like that. Well, 
Once you've done that, all I'm going to do now is go wash my hands to get rid of the wax. So when we put them on, they will get wax on the front. Here we go, we're back, hands washed, grease free. What we're going to do makes uh, just a bit of room. We're going to get the caliper. We're going to try and get it the right way. So like that. So you're going to get the piston side first. So, which is this one. No, it isn't. Yeah, piston side. What you're going to do is line up this bit where it's got like the bends in first. So, as you can see, it's like flattish on the top. All you're going to do is put it down there. I've got a bit of grease on. And all you're going to do, try and get it in a better position actually, is so you've got these clamps behind. All you're going to do is just push it in the little piston, so like this. Like that, push it all the way back. You then get your other pad, and all you're going to do, same orientation. And all you're going to do is lay it on the top of this little groove in the caliper, and you're just going to push down so it slides in, like so. Once that's in, just like that, all you're going to do. Okay, we've got the caliper. Uh, I got ahead of myself and didn't put the disc in first, so that would help. So you just line it up, put the uh, screw in as you can see in the littlest hole and we get the caliper flip it around so you get this sticky out bit here and this bit here and what that's got to do that's got to sit where my finger is now that's got to be where this metal bit is if it doesn't make sense i'll try and explain all you're going to do is put the bottom in first so, just like that, and you're gonna, oh no, that's a bit too early. So yeah, the, as you can see, the bit sticks out first, goes around this side, and then this sits in the front, and you just push it towards, and like that. So these two will be resting in front. Once that's there like that, that should hold itself. What you need now is a bit of grease for your bolts. LM grease, Castrol, and as you can see, you get that, you get the bolts that go through the back. All you do, stick them down there, as far as they'll go. As you can see, they're all greased up, and they sit in the back. And so where they come out before, they're just round here. So, okay, so for these bolts here, you just want to get them as tight as you can. I, I'm not sure if there are torque settings, but there's no going wrong by just going tight. You then want to get your rubber uh, seal things, put them over the top, and I think, yeah, they just push on just like that. As you can see, get another one. Push over the top like that just to protect them, and we'll do the same for the other side. And then get the wheels back on. Woohoo! Brakes on. Here we go. Let's give them a test. Let's have a little go, shall we? Safety first. Off for copyright. That is how you fit brakes. First, they didn't do anything, but I think that's normal. But yeah. Is how you do a tutorial if it helped leave a like and comment and subscribe that being said have a good one